Okay, so in this video, I'm going to tell you how to take this dead battery and bring it back to life. Stay right there. You're going to want to see this. So here's what happened. The drill you're looking at stopped working. I've had this drill probably for over 10 years. And for whatever reason, the battery would not take a charge anymore. So I went on YouTube, of course, and I found a video, and if I can remember it, I'll share it down in the description below. So basically what this gentleman did was he boosted the battery using his car battery. I hooked up to, into my car battery with two wires, and then I ran the two wires to the negative and positive terminals of this battery. And, you know, and sure enough, when I threw it back on the charger, it worked. So then I thought to myself, well, I remembered I had a whole bunch of these kind of batteries, just standard double A's that were not working anymore. And luckily I never threw them away because I wanted to recycle them properly and never got around to doing it. So they were just in a bag. So I had a couple of double A's, a couple of triple A's that didn't work anymore, rechargeable batteries. Remember, the, remember I'm talking about rechargeable batteries. I'm not talking about um, your alkaline door cell batteries, your energizer batteries. If you're going to try this process on those, you're probably going to run into some big trouble. So I'm talking about rechargeables. So anyway, I, I, I'm going to show you what happens with this battery. This one right now is also not uh, charging, but we're going to fix it right in this video. And I would just like to say that I am not an electrician. I am not an expert at this. So follow these instructions at your own risk. You are dealing with electricity and you could potentially get hurt. Okay, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna take this battery and just throw it in the charger. And you'll see that once we throw it in there, it's not recognizing that there's a battery in the charger. Uh, it just, you would think this is dead, it's not gonna work, but I'm gonna show you what you'll do if you have a battery like this. And this is a, this is a nickel metal hydride battery. I think that's what it's called. So the, the ones that are NI, M H, that's the type of battery this is. So what I'm showing you basically will work for the NIMH batteries or the nickel cadmium batteries, which are the NI, what is it, NICAD? This is usually how they're indicated, or CD, something like that, I don't know. So basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your battery, you're gonna get yourself, either hook up into your car battery, a 12 volt source, um, this is just how I know how to do it. There might be other ways to do it, but you might even be able to boost it with another battery, uh, or another AA battery, but I know for a fact that it works with the 12 volt. So if you get something like this, uh, you don't have to buy this. You could just use your car battery, like I said. You would then get an alligator clip. And when I say alligator clip, I'm talking about something like this. Right now the battery is off. I'm going to I'm going to hook up my red alligator clip to the red battery terminal. And once again, like I said earlier, I am not an expert. I'm not an electrician. You probably do not need a jump starter to do this. I'm using the jump starter because it's accessible. Do this at your own risk. And then I'm gonna hook up the black to the black terminal, which is negative. Now that they're, they're hooked up, then I'm gonna take my battery, I'll put it back so you can see it there. I'm gonna turn this on, and I'm gonna make sure that these don't touch before I turn it on, because if they touch, they're gonna spark if this was on. Same thing if you had it hooked up to a car battery, don't let these touch or they will spark and they'll scare you. So you turn it on, lights on, it's getting juice. Here's your positive, here's your negative. So negative is black, positive is red. And you're just gonna hold those there for about one to two seconds really quick. You don't need a lot of time here. Turn this off. And there you go, now it's charging.
Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you like the background music that you're hearing, that's provided by Soundstripe.com. And if you click on the link down below in the description, you'll get 10% off of your subscription. You're welcome. Now, I've been using Soundstripe for many years, and I love it. Great music. And if you don't want to get any copyright strikes, you might want to check it out. And hey, listen, if you're looking to buy me a cup of coffee or a cocktail or whatever you like, there is a donation link down below if you want to donate a little cash my way. And if you're interested in finding out why the C100 is still a great camera to get in 2020, go ahead and click on the video that you're seeing on the screen. Or if you're looking for a way to make your videos look a little more professional, go ahead and check out my fluid head comparison video where I have some of the most budget friendly fluid heads that you can find on the market to really, really enhance your shots. And if you haven't already done so, please make sure you like the video and subscribe and click the bell for notifications.